indicated angle. The indicated angle, and we are also specifically specifically looking for it in degree mode. So make sure that your calculators are going to be set to degree mode as opposed to radians or gradients for heaven uh, for for <laughs> for accident. So we have x as the angle in this picture. We have an opposite side labeled as 7, and we have a hypotenuse labeled as 12. So we have an opposite and a hypotenuse, so we're going to use the ratio of the sine here and say that sine of x equals opposite 7 over hypotenuse 12. Sine of x equals 7 over 12. So that would mean that x would be equal to the inverse sine of 7 over 12. So on most calculators, this is going to be the second option on your sine. So in your calculator, second option on the sine of the number 7 over 12, and rounding this to one decimal place, we would get 35 point See, 6, 8, so that would be 35.7 degrees. So the measure of that angle is approximately 35.7 degrees. Okay, let's try again here. On the right one, we have an unknown angle of y that we're trying to find. We have the adjacent side labeled this time. 5 is adjacent to y. But again, we do have the hypotenuse. So we have this side over here, which is a hypotenuse. So in this case, we have a y with an adjacent leg and a hypotenuse, so we're going to use the cosine function this time, the cosine ratio. Cosine of y equals an adjacent side, the adjacent is blue, 5, and the hypotenuse is 13. So since we're trying to figure out what y is, y is going to now be an inverse cosine of 5 over 13, because that was what the ratio told us. So again, calculator, cosine inverse of 5 over 13. Hopefully, our calculators tell us 67.38, so I'll call that 67.4 degrees to the nearest tenth of a degree. Great! Now, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do one on your own? Try this triangle here, in which the opposite leg and the adjacent leg are labeled. So assuming you paused and tried it out here, we have an opposite leg of 12, we have an adjacent leg of 17, and so the ratio we're going to try to use is going to be the tangent ratio. Tangent of z is equal to the opposite, which is 12, over the adjacent, which is 17. Therefore, z would be equal to the arc tangent, the inverse tangent of 12 over 17. So now we're just going to grab the calculator, hopefully type this correctly into the calculator. Tan inverse of 12 over 17 looks like it's giving us 35.21, so I'll go 35.2 degrees.